I was just recently hired as a Hegdoch revitalization coordinator for our nation. And our goal is to have Hegdoch thriving for all Hegdoch. Sadly, we are down to 2% speakers. That's why there's an urgency for us to look at other uh, method, other ways to revitalize our language. We are starting off with the silent speakers first, and the silent speakers are those that understand the language but don't speak it. We're going to do a three-month pilot project with them starting from March uh, to June, so three months, um, and it'll be three hours a day, uh, five days a week. In September, um, the plan is to have immersion for um, the babies, and then we're hoping to have, in the future, one for the parents so that we can fill the intergenerational gap because in Bella Bella, as you know, the language is only being taught at the school, uh, half an hour a day and 45 minutes, and they also have bilingual uh, happening in the daycare and in the Sassam House, which is a zero to six programs and they're just starting to introduce it in the Child and Family Services programs and at Kahla. We're hoping to partner with uh, SFU again. We have some students that still need to finish a few courses to get their language proficiency certificate, but we're also looking at having a, a course where uh, students are immersed in the language for 900 to 1200 hours a year. And we're hoping to do that uh, in three consecutive years. I've also spoke with SF, oh, with UBC, and Tribal Council has already given them permission uh, to teach Hegdo Club, but it is not immersion-based. It's just a Hegdo Club language course. And we haven't started any of our programs yet, but. Uh, with the 15 years of experience that I've had in language revitalization, it definitely has given me the tools that I need and um, ideas and the direction that we should go. We definitely need to, um, in order to have immersion, we need to make language learning fun. And uh, we've learned different methodologies like um, Dr. Gray Morning Methodology, which, which is Exhilarated uh, Language Transition. And um, we've also learned uh, TPR, which is Total, Total Physical Response. It's uh, action and command based. And I've also used uh, Kagan, which is cooperative learning, where the students uh, learn together and the teacher guides the process. I've used that as well to uh, um, to, um, for language, and it's another fun game-based learning where uh, the students really enjoy it. Yeah. And one of the other methodologies we're looking at is where are your keys, and it's uh, based on sign language. So through my experience at the school, I'll be using the total physical response and Dr. Gray Morning methodology to help with, uh, you know, teaching the silent speakers. And I'll also be using a lot of the curriculum that I created to help teach the language. And we're also, because we recognize that a lot of our people went through a lot of trauma around our language when they're in residential school. Uh, we understand that we definitely have to pay attention to that and give them an opportunity to to heal. And our idea with that was to use our own traditional healing practices with cedar bough, river cleansing, um, smudging with auxiliary. But we also have a cognitive behavioral therapist in Bella Bella. Uh, which would uh, really benefit them if they choose to do that as well. And what that would do is uh, help them to overcome and revert the anxiety so that uh, they'll be able to rise above it and be able to learn 
um, and feel safe with uh, language again. The program always speaks for itself, uh, but definitely we intend to have assessments, you know, different forms of assessment. I haven't really determined that yet, but um, we have learned some um, assessment through uh, Chase's, which is a successful immersion program here in BC. I'm really um, looking forward to being a part of a community team of language stakeholders who are willing to work together to ensure that our language is not only is not just going to survive but to thrive we need to get it back to thriving again for all hetzog and i really believe that you know language is a part of wholeness it's vital to our identity as hetzog we oui.